Good morning. Today I woke up excited. Nif is ready, and we are rushing to tidy up the room, reorganize clothes in the suitcase, and head off to another destination here in Europe. At the invitation of my friends, Tamiris and Rob, I'm going to spend 10 days with them in the Netherlands. Since it's winter and European winter means rain, we may not be able to do many fun things for me to show here. Possibly my Instagram will have more updates. Either way, keep watching. I'm busy all week, but this will be the first week when I can be really productive since I moved. Rob is also occupied with work, so we need to figure out a time when we are both free. Tamiris also continues to manage her company remotely, but I would say that her schedule is more flexible than ours. This is me showing off my travel outfit. I always travel in sweatshirts, flip-flops and socks, and this is what I consider the maximum level of comfort for human beings. I received these wonderful flowers for Valentine's Day and my heart hurts knowing that I can't take them with me and that when I return, they will probably already be withered. So since last night, I've been admiring and taking photos of them. The flashlight changed the color a little bit, but it is still beautiful. Leaving home, I needed some money, so I started to looking for ATMs around. I went to three places and found nothing, until I decided to walk kilometers towards one that was on the corner of my old house. I put the location on map and followed the directions. I passed through the old center, a park, and prayed that the swans wouldn't attack me and that I wouldn't sleep on the bridge. Oh, please don't come on my way. I'm just, just passing by. <laughs> it was raining a lot. I stopped to eat at McDonald's and got lost on the subway on the way to the airport. Luckily, I'm cautious and I leave the house earlier, counting on problems like this. I arrived almost two hours early at the check-in and was charging my phone until I received the news that my flight would be delayed. And guess what? It was delayed not only one, but three times in a row. I had no plans and was already too exhausted to remain sitting there any longer. When I finally mustered the courage to leave, I headed to the restroom and got some water. After finally navigating through the immigration line, I had one last wait on the other side. They confiscated my water and I witnessed many people losing their snacks. I realized that I had peanuts and chocolate in my backpack, so that was my snack until I came across something to buy. Frankly, I wasn't interested in buying anything there. I couldn't wait any longer. It was already 9 p.m. and I had the lunch around noon. I had to buy a bad, overpriced sandwich due to the delay and I ended up arriving at Amsterdam Airport at 1 a.m. When I arrived, I felt like my spine was going to collapse. Unfortunately for me, the airport is huge and I had to walk a long way to get my suitcase and meet my friends. Thank you so much for watching, that was all for today folks and I hope to see you guys again in my next chapter.